Welcome back to another Minecraft episode, episode number two on the Village Craft server, season number three. So yeah, in the last episode, we had made this little area, which I have uh, since added some more chests, but I made Hermit's Hole number two, which is basically another one of these houses. But the reason why I've done it, because one, I want to put some more stuff in. And then what my plan is, which you would have seen in the timelines at the start of the episode, is the fact that I've got this small path going off now where it's going to come to this bit which is going to be a different house which i have got the dimensions for i think i said it was 8 by 16 or 8 by 18. So it's a very long and narrow building which i do off camera i also want to get more armored up but then you guys know me i've never been uh... but yeah it's going to be it's definitely going to be a different build because it's not going to have any like weird dimensions and it's going to be modern which is you guys see from the rest of the guys no one's gone modern uh, also need to light up this area, uh, real I've actually talked But yeah, so, you can see how the area is turning out. A little better than what it was. I'm sorry for doing so much off camera, but that's the reason why I've done it, like, in a time lapse. I need to get the resources, which I will do on camera, and I'll get So, to... the difference, the only difference is the fact that this one's made out of, uh, wood. So, I might put this, uh, for... Uh, but yeah, so also going to do jump cuts and a lot more editing in this one as well. Uh, you would have started with the time lapse in this one. Um, but yeah. So, first thing I'm going to do is just wait for this whole thing to cover over and then I'm going to get in creative and start building something by these dimensions. Uh, hopefully, and then I'll show you what I've got and then the resource covering for it afterwards. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a heads up of what's going on and stuff. Let's just start with connecting these two guys as homes together. Um, work out connecting the rest of the um, area. Because the way how my idea is the fact that you've got this guy here, which is basically took over the two like underground houses and uh, is wanting to put in something a lot more, a lot better, a lot bigger, you know. Um, but in the truth of it, this one's going to be something for a maker smelter or something here, and then the other one can be storage, and then the other one can just be uh, actual. Yeah, so I will get back to you in the creative world uh, with the dimensions, of course, which is uh, 8 by 18. But yeah, so I will be right back, guys. Okay, guys, so it's the day after. Um, I have designed the house that we're going to start making. Uh, later on in this episode and the first thing we need to get is three and a half stacks of clay um or terracotta or whatever it's called now actually let me just quickly get what it's called so as you can see i'm in a mesa biome however this has already been claimed by um what's his name yeah here we go so it's called white terracotta so this is this light gray yes so light gray is what we're after because that's going to be because so, I haven't really decided on the colour yet, but it's either going to be... Oh, what is this one? Also light grey. Okay, so I think light grey is probably... It's just a nice monotone colour. It's either that or like a teal sort of thing we can go for. Like a light blue, but the problem is it's really hard to get. So, anyway, I just want to give you guys an update of what I'm doing. The reason I put them back is because, like I said... Ooh! Okay, I think this is uh, um, this bit here. Okay, so there is a... Let me just quickly go onto the maps quickly. So, yeah, no, this this is the bit that's unclaimed. So we can actually, no, we can harvest all this. Uh, ones that we do need, let's also get the boat just in case we forget it uh, eventually. But yeah, I will be right back, guys, once I have got all the clay I need. All right, so we're back and it's raining, which is great. Also, as you can see, I've got a bunch of material, which is exactly what we want. I was originally gonna go with snow for the white, uh, basically building block inside the build, which you will see later on. Yeah, I just want to show you guys this. Jesus Christ, that looks so nice. So creative as well. Oh, hello. Anyway, oh, I've got some pants. What are they? Fire protection. Nice. Um, anyway, as I was saying, so we're back to the community area and we're going to start building the house. So 
it's gonna look completely different compared to these two, but that is 100% intentional. Um, first thing I need to do is get all my light gray blocks, and I'll just show you what sort of basically building style I'm going for. So if we start it. So I think if I remember correctly, it goes starts down here, then that one, two, three. Then a pair of doors. Uh, and then I think it's one, two. And then it basically, yeah, I think that's right. Anyway, that's all you're going to see for now. I'll give you a little bit of update once I've done the, the front and the bit on the side. So once again, I'm starting this recording from bed. Um, let me just make sure it's definitely got the right screen. It does perfectly because I've got two uh, separate instances of Minecraft open. Oh, great, it's raining. But <clears throat> I just want to show you how the face of this uh, new building is looking. Uh, and if you guys can probably guess what we're going for. Uh, I definitely do prefer the white terracotta to the snow, which is um, what I have done in the past. It is a lot more brighter, but uh, apart from that, I think it's fine. If I am dropping some frames, that is because, like I said, I've got two instances of Minecraft up. So. That's how it's looking at the moment. It's a lot bigger than like these two uh, houses, but that's fine. Uh, the space inside is actually not going to be that much. It's more like a statement on top. That's the whole point of doing this. Uh, the, this wall needs to go back. I think it's three. But yeah, I will. I was just basically want to give you guys an update on how the house is looking. Okay, guys. So it's been some time, um, and this is what I've got so far. Uh, as you can see, it is pretty much just the exterior of it. Uh, first of all, let's put down the doors, and then also, oh, okay, uh, where's, there's the doors, alright, that was a bit of a weird lag, or bug, or whatever you want to call it, cool, uh, so I'll wire it up eventually, so the fact that it'll, uh, open both doors, one door's fine for now, First thing we want to do is, uh, I was putting all these stairs exactly how I've got it in my design. First thing we want to do is, just so we know we've definitely got it, is to put all the black stained glass in here. The reason why, so this is like the skylight, um, even though it can be seen on floor. Um, so I worked out that, let me bring up my notepad quickly, that for gas panes we only need 66 in total which might not be actually correct. So let's get one, two, three, four, and then one, two, just, just in case. And then we've got a bunch of spare. So pretty much all the blank spaces now are literally just for the panes. Uh, one thing I did mess up on is the fact that, uh, also my spoon broke again. Uh, one thing I did mess up on is the fact that I made the top building way too high, so unfortunately, uh, I had to then reduce it down one part, one level. But apart from that, it's been like pretty much easiest building I've ever done. Um, just some final, literally on the final bits now. Uh, so well, Cool. So I still need to think about how what each layer is going to be. But apart from that, this building is done. So in the next episode, we'll be decorating this uh, this bad boy, and I have no way of getting out. So uh, sorry, door. Uh, but apart, <laughs> apart from that, we got to think about the but what the interior is going to be. We also need to do a bit of exterior decorating, so like bushes and all the other like simple things you could do. Uh, we need to get some bone meal. I'd probably go and try and find some shrubbage and like some small trees to just plant around. Um, and also we'll have to connect up up. As you can see, uh, I didn't see this earlier, but GenLP uh, has connected or she is in the pro progress of connecting her paths. So we should do the same and has she killed it. No, it's a path bot. It just looks pretty weird compared to Mine. But yeah, this is how it's looking at the moment. And this is exactly what I was going for. So you've got to my two little houses down here and then another one on top. And I just basically want to keep on building more like each each building I want to do. It's just going to be a separate building. It's 
and a completely different from the last. But I just, I really like the way how this uh, this building turned out. Uh, I think it's great, honestly. I think it's just got for for the small size it is. Uh, I always have to put some like small accessories, but we'll do that on the next episode. Uh. But yeah, I really hope this video has been long enough. I've done a lot off camera, which is, is to be made aware when I'm doing like big builds and I just need to do it off camera. But I wanted to get this one done because I really like the way how it turned out. Plus, I didn't want my, my two little shacks to be the smallest. I needed actually something on the server that would uh, give me some cred, if you know what I mean. Uh, nothing compared to gens. All we've got to do now in the next episode, or like I'll try and... So this one's getting uploaded on next Saturday. This The one that we do all the decorating. If I can find the time, because my uh, schedule is very busy recently, is the fact that I might not have time to do it. So we'll just see when that comes along. But yeah, so really good episode today. We got this uh, done in one episode, which I'm really happy with. I mean, I did do it off camera uh, and it did take the course over two days. So, but yeah, if you guys did like this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next adventure. Peace.